Duchess Sophie's considerate gesture for Camilla following Princess Anne's breach of protocol. The Duchess of Edinburgh, who didn't forget to curtsy to Queen Camilla, demonstrated royal procedure during the Commonwealth Day service with a hint of informality. Not one to overlook her royal manners, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, entered Westminster Abbey on March 11 for the Commonwealth Day ceremony, following the proper formality but with a laid-back flair, in order to give her husband, Prince Edward, an opportunity to greet the Queen during the service. Duchess Sophie gave Queen Camilla an informal peck on the cheek, curtsied, and quickly moved out of the way. Princess Anne was patiently in line, greeting her sister-in-law with a peck on the cheek instead of the customary curtsy, even though anyone holding an HRA title is supposed to bow to the sovereign and his spouse. Following the passing of the late Queen Elizabeth, the royal family has chosen to adopt a more relaxed stance. As seen by occasions like Princess Kate's Christmas carol concert, King Charles and Camilla make a habit of kissing one another on the cheek when they welcome family members. Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Anne, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, and King Charles all attended the Commonwealth service, while King Charles is still receiving cancer treatment. The Princess of Wales and King Charles had both missed formal obligations. Thus, it came at a trying moment for the family. Although she was seen driving her husband to the ceremony, the Princess of Wales was reportedly attending a private appointment. She is anticipated to resume her royal duties following Easter. Alongside her husband, who celebrated his 60th birthday on Sunday, Duchess Sophie, 59, looked beaming as they attended the service. Wearing a cream Susanna London dress coat, a Jane Taylor Demona hat, and Stuart Weitzman stilettos, she embodied sophistication. Due to the fact that the brooch was formerly a part of the late Queen's remarkable collection, social media users were delighted by Queen Camilla's choice of jewelry for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. The current monarch urged unity and vowed to keep serving the Commonwealth in a virtual speech at Westminster Abbey. The 56 member nations of the Commonwealth are a precious source of strength, inspiration, and pride to the king, who referred to diversity as the organization's fundamental strength. In an audio message, he stated, In recent weeks, I have been most deeply touched by your wonderfully kind and thoughtful good wishes for my health, and in return, can only continue to serve you, to the best of my ability, throughout the Commonwealth. Resilience emerged as the day's theme as the royal family struggled to control the great public attention in the health concerns of the Prince and Princess of Wales.